Norway is walking away from billions of barrels of oil. What gives Norway the confidence and clout to remain one of Europe's outsiders? Oil. To the dismay of the nation's powerful oil industry and its worker unions, the opposition Labour Party over the weekend to withdraw its support for oil exploration offshore the sensitive Lofoten Islands in Norway's Arctic, creating a solid majority in Parliament to keep the area off limits for drilling. The dramatic shift by Norway's biggest party is a significant blow to the support the oil industry has enjoyed, and could signal that the Scandinavian nation is coming closer to the end of an era that made it one of the world's most affluent. Oil companies led by state-controlled Equinor ASA, the biggest Norwegian producer, have said that gaining access to Lofoten is key if the country wants to maintain production as resources are being depleted. Estimates suggest the whole industry is surprised and disappointed, said Carl Erik Schott Peterson, head of the Norwegian Oil and Gas Association. It doesn't provide even oil CEOs are now conceding low foot and should be left alone. Yet Labour's decision wasn't a big surprise. Norwegians are st but the battle will now likely move on to whether drilling should continue in the Barents Sea. The oil industry, Norway's biggest oil union, Industry Energy, a long-time ally of labor, lashed out at the party's new stance on Lofoten, which was adopted less than two years after an internal party compromise on the issue. It creates imbalances in the policy discussions for an industry that's dependent on a long-term perspective and we can't accept that, Frode Alfheim, the union's leader, said by phone on Monday. There's probably a lot. Labor leader Jonas Garstor said Labor will continue to be a supporter of the oil industry and to back the existing tax system. Yet he last week also that he wants oil companies in Norway to commit to a deadline for making operations completely emissions free, an ambition the country's top oil lobbyist called very demanding. Industry Energy's Alfheim still expects Labor and other big parties to protect the terms for oil companies and said tougher requirements for emissions could be a good thing for the industry. But Norwegian authority there needs to be a balance, Alfheim said. Updates with comment from Oil Union from 8th paragraph. To contact the reporter on this story Mikhail Holter in Oslo at molter2 at bloomberg.net. To contact the editor responsible for this story Jonas Bergman at jbergman at bloomberg.net. For more articles like this, please visit us at Copyright 2019 Bloomberg LP